if you wire it like this, you will ruin the lights. What is good? Welcome back to the channel. As you saw in my last video, yesterday we installed the Trigger Six Shooter uh, control module setup, and today we're gonna be installing this setup right here. This is the Cali raised um, low profile uh, ditch light bracket, and these are the Baja Design Squadron Sport Driving Combo ditch lights. Uh, there's a couple notes to make when installing these. Um, the ditch light should be installed to the mount before you put the mounts on the truck because these things are so low profile it makes it hard to get to this bolt here so you're going to want to get these set up i did set up this one already just to show you i'll do the other one um, in just a minute but also you're going to have to do a little bit of wiring the ditch lights come with their own wiring if you're going to wire it straight inside the truck and have the button that they provide However, we're gonna be using the six shooter or if you're using a Switch Pro or a different control module, you're gonna to have to do a little bit of splicing. I have it laid out on the ground here. I'll show you what we did so you can follow along and do the same if you're gonna run it with a um, control module. Let's take a look. This is the trigger wiring harness that it comes with. It looks like this, super long. You really only need, this is about two foot of it, okay? Then this is what comes, this is one side, this is the second side for the ditch lights, all right? So it comes with its own switch. We're not gonna be using this, so we cut that off. Then you're gonna take your two, it also has a, a third, this is gonna be your third um, fuse in the circuit, so we're definitely OD with that, but just to be safe, we left it on there. You're gonna splice these back together here. We used um, a little bit of shrink uh, wrap on there. We're gonna wire, uh, tape this back together, and then this is gonna be spliced back to your um, trigger, and this connects back to the trigger wiring harness, okay? All right, so we're gonna lay this across. This is the one that goes to the trigger. And we'll take this to the driver's side. You could cut the one a little shorter that's gonna to go to the driver's side. Um, we didn't, we're just gonna zip tie it together and stuff it back here. And we are gonna to go, to get to the lights, we're gonna go through on each corner. You can lift up the plastic here and go through. So just, we're gonna feed these up and through because they don't reach the one from the light doesn't reach so we're gonna go up and through here the passenger side this is gonna run we're gonna go along this top um, wiring here we're gonna zip tie straight to that come over here and then yeah it's a little long but we're gonna stuff that there's plenty of room back in here behind the module but maybe I would cut it shorter than we have it here. This is everything that's gonna come in your kit here. You got your mount, the light, and then these are all the bolts and hardware that come with it, and this is what your light is gonna mount to. So you're gonna want this slope pointing toward the front of the light, just like this, okay? Then you have your two screws here these lock washers go inside to hold the light in place it's like that before you go putting these on make sure you put the bottom bolt on first because it makes it pretty difficult to get to so bottom bolt there now put your lock washer on and then get this screwed in place okay now this is how we're gonna look when you're ready to go onto the mount, okay? Once you have your light assembled here, this bolt, bottom bolt on, these two side ones on, you can take your mount and this goes right like this toward the front of the vehicle. This has to be up, so it goes around your hood. Flip it over. 
put your last washer and nut on. Get them snug and then we are ready to put this last one on the hood. So like I said, they recommend putting these on already set up and ready to go. The Cali raised uh, mounting brackets do have a P and a D on each one so you know what side they go on. So we are going to slide this. You're just gonna slide it right behind the hood here and then you can lay it down because we're gonna do this one at a time. We did mark it here on the hood but just so you don't have movement and get the hood misaligned, we're gonna do it one at a time here. When you mount these um, calories mounts up, they go just right on top. Don't put it in between the hood and the hood lever because then you're gonna bump your hood up and it's gonna be misaligned. This just goes right here, one side at a time. can kind of get the front one in just a little bit, but you're gonna have to move it. So it's probably best if you can have someone hold the hood. This one. I don't think it was gonna move either, but surprising. We didn't get any movement, but better be safe than sorry or smash your windshield because I've done that before too. So we did get a little bit of movement out of the hood on the passenger side. I don't know why the driver's side didn't move, but just if you have a second pair of hands, I'd have them. Let's get these kind of into position where we want them. Probably going to point them a little out this way. This wire is a little tight. How's that one? The reason the wire was being pinched in that last video is because the wire is actually getting smashed in between the hood or the uh, light mount here and the weather stripping going across the front of the truck here. Uh, if you wire it like this, you will ruin the lights and they will wind up cutting through the wires. And after reworking it a couple times, I liked how it looked better with the wiring going toward the middle of the truck, but uh, it doesn't work that way as well. If you run the ditch light wires toward the outside and under here, under your front fenders here on both sides, behind this bracket, which is out of the way of this, down through your weather stripping and across. The wiring is much cleaner and free of getting cut or smushed or smashed by anything. And I would recommend doing it this way, not the previous way that I had it. Later tonight, we're gonna do a light test out here in the field and I'll show you how bright these things are. Right, so I'm gonna do my best to show you how these lights work. So we're gonna, this is off, obviously. This is headlights with the sea lights. Just the sea lights. Headlights with the sea lights, we're gonna add fogs. So you can see it corners out to the side a little bit more. We're gonna add high beams. And now we're gonna add the Baja designs. So you can see that it lights up out of the corner more, partially due to how the angle I have my lights at. So you can go either farther out to the side or farther forward just for driving, but you can see these things light it up a lot more. Right now we have on the headlights with the fog lights and we're gonna turn on the Bajas and you can see that lights up my brother and Buster over there pretty well. Hey Krabby, you in there?
So before you guys start doing this install, you're gonna to wanna to think about how you're gonna control the lights and if you're gonna get more lights in the future and you're gonna get a trigger or a similar control module for all of your auxiliary lighting. Guys, also when you're doing this install, make sure that the wires are not being pinched under the hood and clear the hood levers so you don't damage the wires. Don't forget, I did pick up a new sponsor with Rhino USA. 10% discount when you're using code DHAS. And if you use the affiliate link in my bio, I get a kickback to fund this channel even more, guys. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.